Hello everyone and welcome to Thrones of Britannia, the very first of the Total War Saga series. Now what you're hearing in the background is the absolutely fantastic soundtrack, but of course I will switch to the goofy music I'm known for after we finish this introduction. Now what you're going to be seeing today is some early access footage. I've had access to the game over the weekend and, well, we're going to jump on in to a campaign. Now the kind folks over at Creative Assembly have sent me one which is around 51 turns in and from there we're going to give it a go and see if we can't help our Kingdom of Northumbria expand even more. And based on how well they're doing, it appears that they're almost as good at the game as I am. Because if you don't know, I am actually the world's best Total War player, as seen by this playlist you'll find in the description. Definitely, definitely not fake news. Ah, Bavenber. If you haven't read The Last Kingdom, I highly recommend you do. Great novel by Bernard Cornwell. And it's a really good TV series too. So, you know, if you're looking for a bit more spice, I'm going to take this army, which is actually garrisoned in Davenport, and start moving them south. Our current mission is to vassalise or eliminate East Anglia. The great Viking army in East Anglia must be forced to swear allegiance to us or die. My my. Now, at the minute, our public order and our gold income next turn is looking very, very good. Wow, I'm actually making a heck of a lot of money. But then I do control a huge swathe of the country. So of course, if you'd like to see more Thrones of Britannia on the channel, please do leave this video a like. And when I get access to the title once again, I will be more than happy to show you more of it. But as you can see, the campaign map is really quite huge. Just even just scrolling around at a normal pace takes quite, quite some time. And what we can see here, let me just find one of the large settlements here. So let's take a Carlyle and we can build various things here and then we each minor settlement now only has one specific building but in decor we have so this is the our mining area over here and it's represented on the map with a mine but enough about that in order to defeat east anglia i think we're going to have to send down a couple of armies so let's get them marching and the game actually does have kent oh represented I'm not even going to try and pronounce most of the Anglo-Saxon names, but for example, that's Dover here, Thanet, Canterbury, uh, Rochester, Lunden. I can definitely pronounce Lunden. So everything is spelt as it was uh, back in the day, and the day being the, the 9th century. It appears no one absolutely hates it. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, some, some Welsh don't like us. Well, <laughs> Wales... <laughs> Oh, and the Scots. That kind of makes sense, seeing as I have taken a lot of their territory. Now, I've neglected to tell you who's leading our faction, and it's Gufrid. Ah, and our heir is Zephridius, and yes, he does actually have children. Good. Oh, you would like a declaration of friendship, would you, Hemelidborg? Um, yes, I think we shall. You always want to upgrade the alehouse. That is not optional. Detail on this map is really, really nice. Uh, if you don't know how to actually do this, it's just you just press K and everything just goes on and off. And then you can get some lovely screenshots. Yeah! So I believe my advisor now is telling me to get this guy a wife and then he'll work harder. I, I, I can't, I you know, family friendly, can't say what will make him happier, but I think we can all guess. Oh, and she's a midwife. Plus 20% chance of having children. So Fridus, I'm not sure if children's going to make you happier or not, but yeah, we're going to take her hand. She seems pretty good. Pretty good. I believe I've unlocked berserkers, so I can retrain them. Oh no, they're Danelaw mailed swordsmen. Where are my berserkers? Shield biters. Yes, retrain into berserkers. Oh. I'm going to enjoy this. Ah, Wincing would like a declaration of friendship. Sure. I believe they are at war with a lot. Oh, they're at war with everyone. Um, nah, mate. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to risk it without having the siege engines. I, I think I can still get in there and do some damage. So, we're going to manually fight this and hopefully annihilate them. I don't want rain. We'll wait. It's dry. That's, that's as good as we're going to get in England. I think that the units, though, are very, very nicely detailed. So, if I just have a little zoom here... Nice. The, the shields actually look really, really cool, and so do... So it, it all looks... Okay, yeah, the units do look really, really nice. 
Okay, so I've got my forces attacking the gate at the minute, I believe. And, yeah, they're going to hack that to shreds. And then we're just going to go full-on storm on in. And hopefully just kill them all. <gasps> they formed a shield wall. Hmm. Well, it appears they didn't like the <laughs> their shield wall. So now they've now allowed me to have a bit of a breach. And hopefully I can just swarm on in. Oh, this is going to be a grind. This might be a very, very large grind. Your pitiful little band will perish. Oh, yeah, that's their shield all broken. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Oh, I didn't realise that the... Oh, the battle time is down to 20 minutes. Uh, let's head towards the sentiment then, because I'm... Uh, bloody, bloody Nora. I was not expecting that. I thought I had more time. I thought I had more time. Oh, I've already killed a thousand of their troops, though. Nice. Oh, their settlement is on fire. How unfortunate. Oh, they are actually putting up a bit of a fight now. They've intercepted my force heading further into the settlement. That's, uh... Well, that was wise of you, but... It's going to be inconsequential to the to the grand scheme of things. And I'm going to head straight into their shield wall, see if they can hold off four units. Oh, we're capturing a victory point. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I'm just mopping up the remainder of their forces. Oh, no, never mind. Victory. That's what you love to see. Oh, and it's decisive. Ah, although a king has many concerns, you have worked hard to gain acceptance among the English. As a result, your name is no longer spoken with fear. I mean, that's that's good, I guess. Yeah, all right. I can deal with that. Oh, we have fairly low loyalty for some of our... Mm, yes. I will probably give you an estate. Actually, you can become my chamberlain. Increase your loyalty. Yes. Oh, Wolfstan has zero loyalty. Um, we'll bribe with words and give him the office of just a car. Oh, we've had some flooding. That's that's a pain, but you know we, we can rebuild. Oh, we have captured a murderer who has committed many heinous crimes. We will perform the Blood Eagle. So there are some rebel forces in the area. I will just do an auto resolve for this one. And fight aggressively. It appears East Anglia has taken back the little island. However, they've trapped themselves there now, so I'm probably going to go in for the kill. Well, we've taken huge swathes of territory away from the East Anglia, so I'm, I'm going to try once again, see if we can get some sort of peace with them. I'd be happy with peace at, the, at this point. Maybe after a couple couple more bits of territory. Just just, just a couple of bits, 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 bits more. I think if I take Lunden, they might feel like they want to be... Well, my friend, shall we say. So I'm going to make my way down there and seize Lunden. Okay, well, I will just gobble up Lunden. Oh, no, 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 wrong one, wrong one. And we have taken Lunden. So I think they'll probably accept peace now, right? Surely, I need to catch up with this little git that keeps going around my territory. So I've now taken every single territory they have, apart from Canterbury and Dover. I wonder if they'll accept vassalization now. Ooh, they're intrigued. Yeah, okay. And they have accepted. Very nice indeed. Mission succeeded. And I think that's where I'll leave it today. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more Thrones of Britannia. For me, at least, it's shaping up to be a really solid Total War addition. I love the time period. So being able to head on in and control either the Vikings, Anglo-Saxons, etc. is extremely appealing to me. And in the kind of scale that you're going to be able to do it on as well, it is really really nice so thank you to ca for providing this to me uh, way ahead of release and yeah if you enjoyed it leave a like and i'll be back with more videos very very soon toodaloo many thanks to oscar wyatt feedback gaming nico tylin jared martin lexi logan super gibson sam red the hardmeister goram and zazzy for being ridiculous ramblers on patreon and many thanks to all the other patrons too